INS Vikant is the first Vikant class aircraft carrier built by Cochin Shipyard Limited for the Indian Navy and the first aircraft carrier built in India. Work on the ship's design began in 1999, and the keel was laid in February 2009. The carrier was floated out of its dry dock on December 29, 2011 and was launched in 2013. Construction is expected to be completed by 2016 and the ship is due to be commissioned in 2018. The motto of the ship is a currency OEA currency AANAAANAAN Florin in Sanskrit, which is taken from Rig Veda 1.8.3 and means I defeat those who dare to fight with me. Design INS Vikant is the first ship of the Vikant class of aircraft carriers. The name Vikant means courageous, or bold. It is 262 meters long and 60 meters wide, and displaces about 40,000 metric tons. It features a short takeoff but arrested recovery configuration with a ski jump. The deck is designed to enable aircraft such as the MiG 29K to operate from the carrier. It is expected to carry an air group of up to 30 aircraft, which will include up to 30 fixed wing aircraft, primarily the Miquin MiG 29K and the naval variant of the HAL Tejas Mark II, besides carrying 10 Kamoth Ka 31 or Westland Sea King helicopters. The Ka 31 will fulfill the airborne early warning role, and the Sea King will provide anti submarine warfare capability. Vikant is powered by Ford General Electric LM2500 plus gas turbines on two shafts, generating over 80 megawatts of power. The gearboxes for the carriers were designed and supplied by Elegan Engineering. Construction Vikant is the first aircraft carrier to be designed by the Directorate of Naval Design of the Indian Navy and the first warship to be built by Cochin Shipyard. Its construction involved participation of a large number of private and public firms. The keel for Vikant was laid by Defence Minister A.K. Antony at the Cochin Shipyard on February 28, 2009. The Abia grade steel, which was supposed to be supplied from Russia, faced problems in delivery. To resolve this, the Defence Metallurgical Research Laboratory and Steel Authority of India Limited created facilities to manufacture the steel in India. Reportedly, three special steels for the hull. Flight deck and floor compartments were manufactured at the Palai Steel Plant and Raukela Steel Plant. Due to this, this is the first ship on the Indian Navy to be built completely using domestically produced steel. The main switchboard, steering gear and watertight hatches have been manufactured by Larsen and Tubro and Mumbai and Talagain. High capacity air conditioning and refrigeration systems have been manufactured in Kurloskar Group, a Euro unregistered trademark S plants in Pune. Most pumps have been supplied by Best and Crompton. Parat Heavy Electrical supplied the integrated platform management system, which is being installed by Avio, an Italian company. The gearbox was supplied by Elegan. And the electrical cables are being supplied by Nico Industries. The ship uses modular construction, with 874 blocks joined together for the hull. By the time the keel was laid, 423 blocks weighing over 8,000 tons had been completed. The construction plan called for the carrier to be launched in 2010, when it would displace some 20,000 tons, as a larger displacement could not be accommodated in the building bay. It was planned that after about a year's development in the refit dock, the carrier would be launched when all the major components, including underwater systems, would be in place. Outfitting would then be carried out after launch. As per the Cabinet Committee on Security, sea trials were initially planned to commence in 2013, with the ship to be commissioned in 2014. In March 2012, it was reported that the project had been affected by the delay in the delivery of the main gearboxes for the carrier. The supplier, Elegan Engineering, attributed it to having to work around a number of technical complexities due to the length of the propulsion shafts. Other issues resulting in delays included an accident with a diesel generator and an issue with its alignment. In August 2011, the Defense Ministry reported to the Lok Sabha that 75% of the construction work for the hull of the lead carrier had been completed and the carrier would be first launched in December 2011 following which further works would be completed until commissioning. On December 29, 2011, 
the completed hull of the carrier was first floated out of its dry dock at CSL, with its displacement at over 14,000 tons. Interior works and fittings on the hull would be carried out until the second half of 2012, when it would again be dry docked for integration with its propulsion and power generation systems. In July 2012, the Times of India reported that construction of Vikant has been delayed by three years, and the ship would be ready for commissioning by 2017. Later, in November 2012, NDTV reported that cost of the aircraft carrier had increased and the delivery has been delayed by at least five years and is expected to be with the Indian Navy only after 2018 as against the scheduled date of delivery of 2014. Work has begun for next stage which includes installation of the integrated propulsion system, the superstructure, the upper decks, the cabling, sensors and weapons. Launch, in July 2013. Defence Minister A.K. Antony announced that Vikant would be launched on August 12 at the Cochin shipyard. The ship was launched by his wife, Elizabeth Antony, on August 12, 2013. Extensive sea trials are expected to begin in 2016 and the ship will be inducted into the Navy by late 2018. According to Vice Admiral Robin Dowen, about 83% of the fabrication work and 75% of the construction work was complete. He said that 90% of the body work of the aircraft carrier had been designed and made in India, about 50% of the propulsion system, and about 30% of his weaponry. He also said that the ship would be equipped with a long-range missile system with multi-function radar and a close-in weapon system. After the launch, Vikant was redocked for the second phase of construction, in which the ship will be fitted with various weapons and sensors, and the propulsion system flight deck and the aircraft complex will be integrated. See also, Future Ships of the Indian Navy, List of Active Indian Navy Ships, References External links, Images during the launch of Vikant